Okay, so Loom is a super flexible tool for educators. You can use it to deliver informal information to your students. Just open the camera, deliver your information and share that video via the link in an email, for example. Or you can use it to create more formal educational content. Maybe it's an explainer video, maybe it's an introduction to the weekly topic, maybe it's an assessment overview, maybe it's feedback, maybe it's a micro lecture. So we can create these videos quite easily using this tool, but then how can we merge them with our learning management systems to give our students a very cohesive user experience? Well, in this short video, I'm going to share with you my process that I go through to integrate uh, my Loom videos into this Moodle learning management system. So we're in the subject here. And as you can see from a, a student point of view, they're in one environment, but the videos are embedded like this. Um, obviously, one of the big advantages of Loom is that I can quickly get an overview of analytics. Uh, this is a seven minute video. It's been viewed this many times. I can see there's one comment that I can view. And then when I start playing the video, I can see all these reactions um, that people have kind of given me at certain points in the video. So I know where uh, understanding and agreement um, is is uh, has occurred okay so how can we embed this video just like this in the moodle environment well it's quite straightforward and it starts with selecting um you know the video that you want to embed i'm just randomly going to choose one here uh, from my loom account so i've recorded a video i press stop it's automatically uploaded to loom which is for me is the great advantage um, and then I can review it. I can make some uh, edits um, if I choose to do so. Um, but for this purpose, I'm just gonna go straight to the share button. And I'm gonna look at the options here. I'm gonna go to the embed option, okay? So if I was sending the informal communication as an email, I usually choose this option and just drop it into a new email. But for embedding into Moodle or a learning management system, I go to this copy embed code option. So I'm gonna copy the embed code. Once that's done, I can move away from the Loom site and go back to my learning management system. Okay, I'm gonna add, I've got the editing switched on. I'm gonna add an activity and strangely enough, it makes no sense, but the activity I'm gonna choose is the label, and you'll see why. Okay, so I'm gonna give the label, and the label is just a way of, for me to put information in the Moodle site that appears on that top level. So students are not having to click into things um, to get access, so they can see it straight away. So obviously the label's real purpose is to be used um, to give labels and structure to your Moodle site. But in this case, I've got that HTML code copied. Um, so I'm gonna drop down the menu and I'm going to choose the HTML uh, option here to switch on the HTML code. And I'm just gonna remove what's there and I'm gonna control and paste that code that was copied um, from Loom. When I switch off the HTML code, then my video will be shown there, okay? I can just save that label and it will appear right there, okay? So it's gonna appear on the site and I can move that up and down and position it where I want it. Okay, and I can click on it. Hi there, this is just a short video that will... And same, same voice, same person, different t-shirt, um, but the video is embedded as simply as that. So I hope this is useful. Um, this is how you embed your Loom video into your Moodle site to get that cohesive user experience for your learners.